Earth had become a beacon of prosperity and technological prowess in the interstellar community. With advanced cities powered by renewable energy, spaceports bustling with activity, and trade routes extending to distant galaxies, Earth was a thriving hub of interstellar commerce. Its technological advancements included AI-driven systems, state-of-the-art defense mechanisms, and innovations in healthcare and education. Humanity, while enjoying the fruits of peace and progress, remained vigilant. The history of conflicts and survival had instilled a sense of readiness, ensuring that Earth was prepared for any unforeseen threats. The Criterion Empire, known for its ruthless conquests, set its sights on Earth. The Criterions, with their towering warships and formidable military might, approached with the intention to subjugate and exploit Earth's resources. Their confidence was fueled by a long history of victories over less advanced civilizations. As the Criterion fleet entered Earth's solar system, they broadcast messages of dominance, boasting about their unstoppable power. They perceived humanity as weak and technologically inferior, unworthy opponents in their quest for expansion. Their arrogance was palpable, as they dismissed any notion that Earth could pose a serious challenge to their plans. In response to the imminent threat, Earth's leaders issued a formal warning to the Criterion invaders. A broadcast was sent, highlighting Earth's advanced defenses and the consequences of underestimating humanity. This is a message to the Criterion Empire, the broadcast declared. You are approaching sovereign Earth territory. Turn back now, or face the full might of our defenses. The warning was delivered with a tone of unwavering confidence, reflecting the leader's belief in Earth's preparedness. The Criterions, however, received the message with scornful laughter. They mocked humanity's boldness, interpreting it as a desperate bluff. Humans think they can threaten us? One Criterion commander sneered. We will crush them and take what we want. Amid the growing tension, Earth's military mobilized under the direction of General Aidan Shaw, a brilliant strategist known for his tactical genius. Shaw had spent years studying interstellar warfare and had overseen the development of Earth's sophisticated defense systems. He quickly assessed the situation and began coordinating a multi-layered defense strategy. The initial steps included the activation of orbital defense platforms equipped with laser cannons and missile systems. Ground-based anti-aircraft units were put on high alert, ready to engage any hostile forces that breached the outer defenses. General Shaw also initiated the deployment of advanced AI-driven drones, capable of rapid response and precision strikes. The communication networks were secured, ensuring seamless coordination among the defense units. Civilians were moved to safe zones, and emergency protocols were activated to maintain order. Shaw's calm demeanor and decisive actions instilled confidence among the military personnel and the civilian population. The stage was set for a confrontation that would test humanity's resolve and the effectiveness of their technological advancements. As the Criterion fleet drew closer, Earth stood ready to defend its sovereignty with unparalleled determination. The Criterions launched their first wave with overwhelming confidence and aggression. Their warships, bristling with weapons, descended upon Earth's outer defenses, firing relentless barrages of plasma and missile strikes. Their initial assault was fierce, causing significant damage to orbital platforms and space stations. Explosions lit up the night sky, and debris rained down upon the planet. Panic spread among the civilians, and chaos ensued as communication networks were temporarily disrupted. The Criterions, confident in their superiority, believed that their show of force would quickly bring humanity to its knees. In response, Earth's defenses sprang into action with calculated precision. The cutting-edge AI systems, long prepared for such an eventuality, activated automatically. Orbital defense platforms powered up their laser cannons and missile systems, targeting the Criterion warships with pinpoint accuracy. Ground-based anti-aircraft units synchronized with the orbital platforms, creating a layered defense network. Advanced AI-driven drones were launched, their autonomous systems allowing them to engage the enemy with remarkable speed and precision. The strategic deployment of these defenses was overseen by General Aidan Shaw. He coordinated the AI systems to prioritize high-value targets, disrupting the Criterion attack formations. The drones executed evasive maneuvers, 
outflanking the Criterion ships and targeting their weak points. Missile systems launched from hidden silos, guided by AI to avoid interception and strike with deadly accuracy. The laser cannons, powered by the latest energy technologies, sliced through the Criterion hulls, causing explosions that rocked the invaders. One of the first successful countermeasures was a coordinated drone swarm attack, devised by General Shaw. As the Criterion warships focused their firepower on Earth's stationary defenses, Shaw ordered a sudden and synchronized drone assault. Hundreds of AI-controlled drones emerged from stealth mode, converging on the Criterion fleet. These drones, equipped with EMP devices, targeted the Criterion ship's power systems. The execution was flawless. The drones maneuvered through enemy fire, detonating their payloads at critical points. The immediate impact was devastating. Several Criterion warships lost power, their systems going dark and leaving them vulnerable. Earth's laser cannons and missile systems capitalized on the momentary chaos, destroying the disabled ships with precision strikes. The invading fleet was thrown into disarray, and the initial confidence of the Criterion commanders turned to shock. They had severely underestimated humanity's technological capabilities and strategic acumen. In response to the unexpected resistance, the Criterions decided to intensify their assault. They regrouped, deploying additional reinforcements and focusing their firepower on Earth's key defensive installations. Their arrogance persisted, believing that humanity's defenses, though initially formidable, would eventually falter under sustained pressure. The Criterion commanders ordered relentless waves of attacks, determined to break through and achieve their objective. However, each subsequent wave met with fierce resistance. Earth's AI-driven systems adapted to the Criterion's tactics, anticipating their moves and countering them with ruthless efficiency. The human strategist, General Shaw, continued to orchestrate defensive measures that maximized the effectiveness of Earth's advanced weaponry. The Criterions, now facing a determined and technologically advanced adversary, began to realize that the invasion would not be as easy as they had arrogantly assumed. General Aiden Shaw's strategic brilliance became evident as he orchestrated several maneuvers that systematically dismantled the Criterion forces. Utilizing Earth's advanced AI, Shaw anticipated Criterion tactics with uncanny accuracy. One maneuver involved luring the Criterion fleet into a narrow corridor of space, flanked by hidden asteroid-based weapon platforms. As the Criterion ships advanced, believing they had found a weak spot, they were ambushed from all sides. Coordinated strikes from the concealed platforms and drone swarms crippled their fleet, leaving them vulnerable to a final barrage from Earth's orbital defenses. Another key maneuver was the use of decoy signals and false intelligence. Shaw deployed a series of fake distress signals, leading the Criterions into carefully laid traps. These signals drew the invaders into sectors rigged with mines and automated turrets. The AI systems continually analyzed Criterion communication patterns and ship movements, adjusting Earth's defensive strategies in real time to counter each new tactic. The Criterion commanders, unable to outsmart the adaptive AI, found their fleets constantly outmaneuvered and outgunned. Key battles showcased human ingenuity and resilience. In one such battle, the Criterions launched a concentrated attack on a critical power station in a major city. Anticipating this move, Shaw had fortified the area with mobile defense units equipped with energy shields and rail guns. As the Criterions descended, they were met with a barrage of precision fire that halted their advance. Human engineers, using improvised EMP devices, disabled the Criterion war machines, turning their own technology against them. In another pivotal battle in the asteroid belt, small human strike teams used jetpacks and zero-gravity combat suits to infiltrate Criterion ships. These teams planted explosives in key locations, causing internal chaos and forcing the ships to retreat. The Criterions, unprepared for such unconventional tactics, suffered significant losses. Human creativity and adaptability proved decisive, as they continually found ways to exploit Criterion weaknesses. As defeats mounted, desperation grew among the Criterion commanders. Their initial arrogance gave way to frustration and panic. Orders became erratic, and discipline within their ranks started to break down. 
the once cohesive Criterion fleet began to splinter as commanders argued over how to proceed. Despite their superior firepower, they were outmatched by humanity's strategic depth and relentless defense. Meanwhile, humanity's persistence and unwavering determination to protect their home were on full display. General Shaw's leadership inspired confidence and resilience among the troops and civilians alike. Every setback was met with renewed effort, every victory with determination to continue the fight. The unity and resolve of Earth's defenders grew stronger with each passing day. The turning point came with a major victory that decisively shifted the momentum in humanity's favor. In a bold and risky maneuver, Shaw coordinated a full-scale assault on the Criterion Command ship. Utilizing stealth technology, a fleet of Earth's most advanced fighters and bombers penetrated the Criterion defenses and launched a surprise attack. The command ship, the heart of the Criterion fleet's operations, was destroyed in a spectacular explosion. This victory shattered the Criterion command structure, leading to chaos and retreat among their remaining forces. The psychological impact of this victory was profound. For the Criterions, it was a humiliating defeat that shattered their perception of invincibility. For humanity, it was a moment of triumph that galvanized their spirit. The victory proved that Earth was not only capable of defending itself, but also of striking fear into the hearts of its enemies. The tide had turned, and the Criterions, now on the defensive, faced the full wrath of a united and determined human race. The Criterion commanders, facing unprecedented losses and the destruction of their command ship, finally decided to retreat. The order was given, and what remained of their once mighty fleet scrambled to withdraw from Earth's orbit. The retreat was chaotic, with damaged ships barely holding together and demoralized troops struggling to regroup. The immediate aftermath of their defeat left the Criterion Empire reeling. News of the catastrophic loss spread quickly through their ranks, leading to internal strife and calls for accountability. The Criterion leadership, once confident in their superiority, now had to face the realization that their arrogance had led to this downfall. Their defeat at the hands of a previously underestimated opponent would become a cautionary tale within their empire. On Earth, the focus shifted to reflection and rebuilding. The damage inflicted by the initial invasion was extensive, but the resilience of humanity shone brightly. Reconstruction efforts were swift and efficient, leveraging the same advanced technologies that had defended the planet. Cities began to rise from the rubble, infrastructure was restored, and life gradually returned to a semblance of normalcy. The sense of unity and purpose that had been forged in the fires of conflict persisted, driving social and political changes. There was a renewed emphasis on global cooperation and preparedness, ensuring that Earth would be ready for any future threats. The invasion had also spurred technological innovations and improvements in defense systems, making Earth stronger than ever before. The successful defense of Earth did not go unnoticed by other interstellar civilizations. The Galactic Council and numerous alien races reacted with a mixture of surprise and admiration. Earth's ability to repel a powerful invader boosted its standing in the galactic community. Diplomatic envoys from various planets reached out to establish or strengthen alliances, recognizing the strategic and technological prowess of humanity. The increased respect for Earth translated into new trade agreements, scientific collaborations, and mutual defense pacts. Humanity's reputation as a formidable and resilient species was solidified, ensuring a more influential role in interstellar affairs. General Aidan Shaw, the mastermind behind Earth's defense, took a moment to reflect on the events and their significance. As he surveyed the rebuilt cities and the strengthened defenses, he considered the lessons learned. The invasion had highlighted the perils of underestimation and the importance of strategic brilliance. Shaw understood that arrogance, whether from the invaders or the defenders, could lead to downfall. Humanity's victory was not just a testament to their technological and tactical capabilities but also to their indomitable spirit and unity. The consequences of the Criterion's arrogance served as a powerful reminder that true strength lies in resilience, adaptability, and the ability to learn from every challenge.